The Hidden Text Messages Beneath the Floor in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is full of lots and lots of things. Things we can see, things we can't see, and things we can kind of see, but have a hard time reading. Obviously, going into a game like this, I have my eyes peeled for all sorts of lore. And many times throughout the game, we find messages they were capable of reading. Whether it be signs in storage rooms, or those lengthy notes we find placed throughout the facility. All these letters are fully written out, and the text isn't crushed at all. It's a lot different than other games I've seen where they tend to crush the resolution of the textures. Mind you, they want you to read these for lore, so it makes sense. But like I said earlier, these messages are things you're supposed to see. But what about messages that developers accidentally left behind? Well, it turns out there are some of those too. So while I was playing this game, I was trying to pull in the lore, break out of bounds, and ultimately find everything I could. So when I got to the crazy chasing at the end, of course, I was going to take a look. And this is what I found. Okay, so the chase scene at the end of the game was actually starting to frustrate me a bit. The timing on it is like you have to be pretty much spot on, otherwise you will die. And sometimes the grab pack hand just would not fire, and it was very, very frustrating. But this kind of gave me time to look out of bounds and explore this area. So I fired up uh, a flying mod just so I could check out the facility, the different rooms, take a look behind you know, the fire, and overall this whole chase room. And I'll be doing a deeper dive on this later on, but that's when I saw a message. A text message floating out in space that says, Arm Spazzing. Okay, that's weird. There's just a phrase <laughs> floating out here uh, in white text. I, I wasn't sure at first what this was. I was confused, but then I realized in the background that, oh wait, there's more. It says, Arm Blocks Path. And I realized this was like a breadcrumb that led to another breadcrumb. So another one that says mommy runs past slightly faster than you. So at this point, I added a light. Um, I, I, this room was too dark. I couldn't see too far ahead. I want to see what else was out here. And I realized these were kind of leading me through the void. And then I found another one. And it says, you enter a tiny pipe. And then that led to another. Hand emerges from the dark straight towards you and mommy crawls out of an eerily small space. So I'm not sure if there's more than this, but what these are is basically the developers sort of white boxing out this area. So before we have the chase scene that you normally have, they probably didn't have the objects in place. They probably had the tunnels and the obstacles and the things you need to do in order to complete this chase sequence. But to make the players be in the right state of mind who are testing the original functionality, they probably had this text pop up that would give people an idea of what was taking place during that time. Or even for other developers who are working on the project at once, maybe using the same map file, that they could work in tandem and understand what was going on cohesively across all the people working on the scene. Now, these are out of bounds, so these were left over after this area was compiled. This is slightly below the ground, it's out of bounds. So it's kind of neat to see what this originally used to be and, and see these assets left behind by the developers that hint at how all of this was made. And in another video, I'll be going over how this area works because it's actually very, very interesting with all the different mommy long legs that are scattered about. But I hope you enjoyed this, something kind of simple, but uh, kind of interesting. Uh, subscribe now if you want more Poppy Playtime content, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers!